Hi and welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about the tech stack that we are going to use in order to build dev nodes. If you don't know what dev nodes is, then it's a side project, a portfolio project that I'm building. And if you want to know more about the idea, what it is, then you can just go and watch a video here. It will be just popping up somewhere. You can just go and watch that video. I have explained what the project idea in detail in that video. And in this video, let's discuss the tech stack that we are going to use in order to build this project. So in order to manage the whole project, we are going towards building it in a mono repo so the front end application and the back end application and the libraries if we are going to build any they all will reside in one repo and to manage that repo we are going to use a tool which is acquired by Versal and which is known as turbo repo we are going to use turbo repo to manage our mono repo we are going to use next.js for the front-end application and then we are going to use Tailwind CSS to style the application. We may use Shed CN UI which is built on Redis UI and Tailwind CSS. So we may use it, I have not decided but we are going to use Tailwind for styling our application that is decided. So the next tool that we are going to use is React Query. This is a tool that is used to manage the remote state and cache the data from the remote state. And then whenever you want it, you can invalidate it and the data will be refreshed. Otherwise, it will be just directly used from the cache if it is present in the cache. The other tool that we are going to use is React Hook From because we are going to have a couple of forms in our application. We are going to use React Hook Form to take care of the validation and it will help us to create the form and manage it pretty easily. Then we are going to use React Hot Toast which is a library that helps us to create notification in app. So like a product is created you will get a notification if some error occurred while creating it you will get another notification something went wrong so like that and then we are going to use axios instead of fetch because axios provides us a helpful api and we are going to use it in place of just fetch and in backend we are going to use node.js with express about the database before i had plans of going with mongodb but right now i'm also considering sql databases for that i was considering postgresql i've not researched about it but i'm going to give some time and think about it at work we are using mysql and i wanted to try sql databases so if you have any idea about which one to go should i go with mongodb or should i try postgresql or is there any other sql database that i should consider then comment down in the comment section and let me know about it the next thing that we are going to use is cluck cluck is an authentication provider which will help us to authenticate our user and manage our user cluck is not just like any other authentication provider it is more than that it also gives us the ui to sign in the user to sign up the user to edit the user profile etc so it is a good helpful tool so we are going to explore clerk in this project and we are going to use stripe in order to manage the payments and the another tool that we are going to need and i don't know which one to go about is mail sender we need to send a mail whenever a person buys a notes then we have to send the notes via mail so we need a mail sender so if you know anything to be used then please let me know in the comment section and also we are going to use zord for backend validation yeah so this is the tech stack that we are going to use for building this application these are the things that I have in mind right now, but later we may add or we may remove some of the things. So let's see, I don't know. I don't think so we are going to require a use of Redux because I don't think so there's much local state management. If there is, we may directly use context API, but if later, if there is a need of 
client side state management something complex then we may use a redux or we may try uh, another tool which is like just end or recoil we may try them i don't know just saying and most of the stuff out here in a tech stack example like next.js typescript i have explored these things but i've never created something useful or production ready with these tools and i don't know how we are going to go about this project because most of this stuff i have never used main idea is just go out there learn break the problem step by step and try to learn everything and by the end of this project just become better developer than i was before starting this project so that's the main goal and also i'm going to open source this project so if you are a beginner developer who is just starting out then you can just read the code and learn from it and if you are a seasoned developer if you have experience more than 2 years one year experience then you can just go through my code and criticize me and let me know what things i'm doing wrong and how i can improve my code so that i can become a better developer and i'm just going to document everything about this project hope you guys will be there with me throughout this project and help me if you have any freelance project to be done in react js or next js then feel free to reach out to me on twitter thank you for watching this video till the end see you in next one